Tonight we're having a very special Where's Waldo edition of The Late Late Show. I came out uh, uh, to say hello to the ladies and gentlemen, the studio audience, and three uh, of the uh, members that look three of them, <laughs> and they weren't they weren't to, they weren't together, were they, boy? They were separate in separate areas, weren't they? You saw them too, didn't you? <laughs> Go and check them out. I'll be right over. I hate that horse. <laughs> It's nothing, it's nothing, it was a joke. Hi. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Ready? When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Jean Gertz, Thornton, Illinois. Janet Meyer Dirk, Yuma, Arizona. Chuck Harms, Salisbury, Maryland. Right, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, if you'd excuse us for a minute, would you? <laughs> you understand why I brought you up to the front, don't you, Chuck? Yeah. You're, you're wearing the same shirt as a couple of ladies. Maybe you'll talk to us, too. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this to shame you, man. It's for your own good, all right? <laughs> ladies, including Chuck, I... I have, uh, I have a question for you, and if you can answer it, are you here with anyone? Oh uh, yeah, my friend, Merrick. Oh, your, your, your friend? Uh... Merrick? Oh, hi, Merrick. You said it like I know him. <laughs> like, like, Merrick, come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, Merrick, of course. Yeah. How are you doing, man, what's up? All right, so, uh, are you here with anyone? Yes. Who are you here with? My husband. Uh-huh. Right, gentleman over there, and? Jean's here with her daughter. G with G and G G G you're Jean. <laughs> yeah, you Jamie. But you said Jean's here. Jean's here with Jamie, my daughter. Well, Craig's asking you why you're saying Jean. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm here to see you. Well, good news, because we're going to send all six of you out together to a restaurant. Oh. Yeah. 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 Which restaurant will you send them to, Michael? How about Cafe La Bohème? Cafe La Bohème, the expensive one. <laughs> and I have but three. You, wow. <laughs> you have three? Three people? Daughter and husband. Your daughter and your... Oh, that's fine. Yeah. No, that, Craig says that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you care, man? We're out here in December. We can just give it away. <laughs> All right. So, uh, here's the question. Chuck, this is one for you. Okay. All right. Or ladies, um, there's a large music festival held in Palm Springs once every year. What's it called, Chuck? I don't know. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I tailored that. It's exactly for you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> come here. Do you know what it is? It's Coachella, all right? Coachella. Okay. She knows. Uh, anybody got any ideas? Uh, yes. Coachella? Coachella is the right answer! There's a big problem. <laughs> Two of these girls are friends, but one of them isn't a friend. <laughs> and I don't know if they're going to let her join or maybe they're just going to blank her. <laughs> well, go and check it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, nothing creepy about this so far. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies, uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, but for the sake of the legal reasons, I won't actually touch you. Uh, <laughs> please state your name and where you're from. I was expecting you to touch me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Amber from Phoenix. Amber from Phoenix and... Taylor from Texas and now Malibu. Texas and now Malibu? Yes. 
Sounds like a resume to me. <laughs> Sorry, what was your name again, young lady? I'm Kat. Kat? Kat from, from Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, have you got a cat? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, what's your cat's name? Boss. <laughs> That's so totally awesome. BFFs forever. Uh, do you have a cat? I have two, yeah. Wow, you're starting early. Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what are your cat's names? Um, Kilgara and Freya. Oh man, are they Gryffindor? <laughs> right. They are now. Look, if there's any consolation, I am also creeped out by what's happening here. <laughs> and finally, uh, young lady, do you have any cats? I do not. I see. That's why she's not our friend. <laughs> whoa, ho, 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 ho! Look! <laughs> That's the way it happens in Gossip Girl! <laughs> Well, good news, ladies. If you can answer this question correctly, you're all going to a restaurant, which is? I'm a sewer. Sewer! Do you guys ever watch um, uh, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Sure you do. Uh, yeah. And The Real House of uh, Lisa Vanderpump, who's one of the own sewer. This, we went the other night. It's actually really good. I know. <laughs> Yay! Okay, good. <laughs> well, here's the question. Um, if you were to choose a pet, and if that pet were to be an awesome pet as opposed to something weird and creepy that would eat you when you die... <laughs> would that pet be a cat, or a dog, or a ferret? <laughs> Are you gonna tap us on the shoulder? <laughs> no. No, actually, I, I feel a little uncomfortable standing behind you. <laughs> here, come here a minute. All right. Listen, if you want to fit in with the other girls, I think you should answer the question, cat. <laughs> but if, if you want to be, if you want to be true to your heart, say ferret. <laughs> ferret. Is the correct answer, you <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Tonight, three women have been picked at random from the American public. <laughs> One of them will wave embarrassedly. Go <laughs> we'll check them out. <laughs> Ladies, would I tap you on the shoulder? Please state your name and where you're from. You first, young lady. Lynn from Chicago. Chicago, Illinois? Illinois. I know it. Yes. I'm Michelle. I'm from L.A. Oh. <laughs> and you are? I'm Lindsay, and I'm from San Marino, California. San Marino, <laughs> California? <laughs> where part of California is that? The... Like, kind of near Pasadena, like, you know, the Rose Bowl. It's kind of near there, but... It sounds like L.A. to me. <laughs> Oh, San Marino. <laughs> How did you get here? What flight did you get from San Marino <laughs> to Los Angeles? Anyway, well, welcome. Uh, are any of you actresses? Nope. No. no. Good. Are any of you criminals? No. What do you do for a living? I work for a dental insurance company. Oh. <laughs> In Illinois. <laughs> I'm a... Um, I'm a student at Cal State Long Beach. Uh-huh. What are you studying? Pre-accounting. Pre-accounting? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like you spend all your money and then worry about it? What is pre-accounting? It's like you either do accounting or you don't do it. That's it, isn't it? What's pre-accounting? Counting? Absolutely accounting. <laughs> uh, you, how do you do pre-accounting? I genuinely don't know. No, it's just that the first two years of college, everyone's a pre until this last year of college, everyone's, you know, their major. You know, this whole college <laughs> thing is a racket. <laughs> and, finally. Um, I'm a student at Ohio Wesleyan University. Oh, that's nice. So, what are you yeah. studying? I want to be a journalism major. Journalism? Mm -hmm. That's gone. <laughs> no journalists anymore. I think there's, I think there's one at CNN. Christiane Amanpour, that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> Last it's one. Trouble. Yeah. Do you want to go and do uh, war stories and stuff? You know, maybe. Just go with the flow, you know? <laughs> yep, you're a Californian, all right. Okay. So, 
Ladies, if you can answer this question correct, and I have a feeling you will, oh. we will send you to a fancy restaurant called Craig's. Craig's, that's a good restaurant, actually. Nothing to do with me, it's actually good. And we'll send, have you brought anyone with you from Chicago? Um, I'm visiting my daughter. She moved here to LA. So. Oh. I'm visiting for two weeks. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> She's working and she's... Oh, she's working? Oh, good, that's great. <laughs> and that's why she couldn't be here this exactly. evening. I didn't really ask any of that. <laughs> anyway, the question <laughs> is... The question is... What is the famous, the most famous hot dog uh, store in Chicago? Portillo's. Is the correct answer. You're going to Craig's. You're all three of you going to go and going to send you all and everybody who came with you. Who came with you? You, did you... Could, yeah, we came together. We came together. Oh, and that's it? Yeah. Well, you can go to the restaurant and you can take your daughter. I know she can't be here because she's tomorrow. working. It's her birthday tomorrow? Oh, that's amazing. I can't. See, what the... So. This is perfect. It's, it is. It's perfect. It'll be her birthday tomorrow. You can take her. She can meet these two girls. What age is she? She's about the same age as these girls, probably. She's 28. No, no. Oh, we'll be 28 tomorrow. Oh, I, you must moisturize, girlfriend. So. <laughs> So that's great, she's a little, little older than the girls, but you know, you all get together, you'll, you'll talk, it'll be laughs, you can say things. Fun. You can tell them all about Chicago. I will. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing America together, one meal at a time, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to a special international edition of The Late Late Show, right boy? Do we have guests from all over the world? <laughs> Where do you think that dude's from? <laughs> you think everyone's from Mexico. <laughs> All right, go over there, have a look, I'll be right there. <laughs> I'm telling you he's not, get out of here. All right then. It'll be fine. Don't worry, man. It's, nothing's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Alok. I'm from India. Alok? Yeah. From India? Yeah. Which part of India? New Delhi. New Delhi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I freaking you out, man? Because no. you're kind of like going like this. I'm good. I'm just looking at you. What are you, what are you doing in LA? Are you on vacation? No, I'm actually studying here. Oh, what are you studying? Oh, business management. Business management? Yeah. I see. <laughs> Where are you studying? Uh, Leola Marymount University. <laughs> you, you a little nervous, man? No. <laughs> I don't want to be nervous. It's cool, man. It's not even like a proper TV show or anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're making me feel like I'm creeping you out a little yeah, bit. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, all right, then. All right. So, uh, so you're from New Delhi. You're studying business management. Yeah. And. <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here for about six to eight months since August last year. Yeah. Got yourself yeah. an American girlfriend. Yet? Not yet. <laughs> looking for it. Looking for one. Looking for one. Yeah. Yeah. What you looking for? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of options. Yeah. Well, here's a good idea. We'll send you and a girl that you want to take, or dude, like a no judgment. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, somebody you want to take on a date okay. uh, to where? What restaurant? La, La, La what's that? La Canda Veneta. It's a great Italian restaurant. Uh, that's that's not far from India. <laughs> <laughs> to most Americans, that's actually true. Yeah. They're like, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Um, right, you have to answer a question though. Uh, Business management. I don't know anything about business management. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm learning about it. You learn? What have yeah. you learned then? I'm actually just finished my freshman year, so. That's correct. So, you uh, won the dinner. So, so good. Now. <laughs> so, uh, who are you going to take? Do you have uh, somebody in mind you want to take on a date? Maybe no, you should no. ask them now, man. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, I, ask I them know, on TV, I, ask them on TV. I don't have an idea right now. Well, is there a girl that you think no. might like you or a dude? I'm like, no. no judgment, man. No, I, I actually don't know right now. You don't know? I'm going to look. Oh, man, sit down, sit down. 
It's still looking. You know, the thing about American girls is they're, they're just like, you know, just like, you know, girls the world over. It's just, you know, yeah. approach them with respect. You know, you'll be cool. Yeah. You know, just direct, you know, try and be a little funny. Don't be too weird or nervous. Yeah. You know? Be fine, a little bit of confidence. It'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> I just worry about you, you know? You spend a lot of... Yeah. <laughs> spend a lot of time on your own. No. Do you play the video games? No. No, I don't see. Okay. No. What do you do for your hobby? Like, I like playing outside. I go walk out or I like playing tennis sometimes. Tennis? Yeah, I like you, watching... You can't do that on your own? No. So I just like play with whoever's free, like friends. That's all right. Yeah, and then I like watching TV. Yeah, I like, I like all those things except tennis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not originally from here either. I know what it's like to come here yeah. and feel like a little out of sorts and stuff. But then, you know, Americans are very friendly, man. They, you'll be cool. Yeah. yeah, it just takes time to get used to it. Yeah, a little bit. It'll be all right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just don't be too rough on yourself, you know? It's just like, it takes time, transition, you know? Yeah. Family still back in India? Yeah, I have an older brother here. Oh, your older brother's here? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Is he a jerk? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, maybe you could take him at the restaurant, no. then you guys can go out and <laughs> party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get on with the show, man. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm over right there. It's good to say, enjoy the rest. Yeah. We got us a hugger in the crowd tonight. <laughs> Lady back there likes to hug folks. <laughs> hugged me, hugged the horse, hugged the back end of the horse. <laughs> Causing a little friction around here. <laughs> she wanted to hug the robot, I said, can't hug the robot. <laughs> Is hugging the robot uh, a kind of like one of those dirty sex phrases? Yeah, it's a like sex hugging thing, the yeah. robot. Yeah. You tell me. Done it many times. Uh, what's, what's, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, where are you from, Sarah? Um, right now, from Wildemar, California. Right now, from Wildemar. Yes. Why? Why are you uh, traveling? Are you rambling? Do you I roam from town teaching, to town? Yeah, I was teaching there for a year, and I'm going to Russia next year. You're going to Russia? <laughs> no, you're not. No. <laughs> no, that's going to be shut down. I'm afraid. <laughs> You could always go to uh, uh, Crimea. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, it's part of the Ukraine. Oh, well, it used to be part of it. It's right, well, it's Russia. Yeah, no, it's Russia now. Yes. Do you speak Russian? Uh, yet. <laughs> you seem good. good. That was good, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you're a hugger. Are you a very demonstrative person? Sometimes. What do you teach, by the way? I teach science and um, math algebra. Oh, science, eh? One of them. <laughs> One of them that believes in the sciences. I just <laughs> No, I, so do I. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, you, it, uh, what grades do you teach? High school, freshman. Oh, right. I don't know what that is, because I was finished by then. <laughs> I imagine so were your teachers. Yeah, oh, they were, yeah. Well, my teachers were more uh, alcoholic child abusers. What about you? <laughs> I try not to be. Well, it's always good not to be. I think it's unpopular in teaching now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, oh yes, if you can answer a question correctly about science, okay. uh, we'll send you to a swanky restaurant. What one, Michael? Ooh. Mastro's Steakhouse. Mastro's Steakhouse. Do you enjoy uh, the... Um, <laughs> are you a vegetarian? No. Good, uh, because it's a steakhouse and there'll be plenty of meat. <laughs> Not you, though, right? Hmm. Do you believe this? Is that like hugging the robot? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the question. Um, what is the boiling point of... Please say water. No, I'm not going to say water. <laughs> I'm going to say what is the boiling point of... Um, Jeff, what is the boiling point of what? What is the boiling point of water? That's what you <laughs> said. Do you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit? That's one of those sex Hell things. Would somebody ask yeah. you that? <laughs> Well, give it to us in both. Give it in both, yeah. He, he likes it both ways. Yeah. It's 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius? 212 Fahrenheit. And what Fahrenheit? 212. Is the correct answer. Yeah. You're going to the same answer. You're taking your friends. We'll be right back over there. We'll be right
I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Lisa. Uh-huh. And I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. Uh, anything going on for you at the moment, Lisa? Uh, no, not much, actually. I have a feeling that's going to change very soon. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? Um, sure. Yeah, come on. Uh, there you go, up here. You'll be all right. Is this, um, is this uh, your first... Um... Oh, can you turn the lights on, please? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, um, <laughs> are you, uh, expecting? I am, I am. When? when? Uh, June 20th, so. No way, girl. Huh? <laughs> Is it your first? It's my first. Ah, yeah. yes. Your life's going to change, you know. People do that. They say that all the time, don't you? Yeah, your life's going to change. That's what they keep saying. You know what I like to do is I like to say to people when they say your life's going to change, is say to them, and yours is going to stay the same. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so, uh, do people come up and touch your bump? They do. Isn't that rude? Well, it happens quite often. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's terrible when people do that. Um, it, it, I, well, well, if you can answer a question, we'll send you and your partner. Um, My husband. Oh, right, okay, you know. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to presume, you know, it's LA, it's the modern world, you know, it's like not judgment. I'm like, okay, it's all cool. Uh, so, you and your husband will send you to a restaurant, and you guys better go very soon. Yes. Because once this happens, you'll never go to a restaurant again. <laughs> uh, here's the question, uh, how do you feel? I feel very good at the moment. Correct! Okay, well done. Uh, right. Café La Boheme, that's, that's French. Uh, is, is your baby French? No. No. Uh, have you chosen a name or anything like that? You, you probably don't want to say, though, right? Well, it's a li we've still got a couple of weeks, so... You, you don't have a couple of weeks. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but I've been to this dance before. And uh, I'd get to the restaurant maybe tonight. <laughs> that your husband over there? Uh huh. He's yeah, in the yeah, audience. yeah, yeah, yeah. He smile now. <laughs> well, um, good luck to you, I says. And when uh, you know I come out after the commercial break to start the show, don't go waving around and waving your hands and jumping up and down. In fact, sit in your seat very calmly until the end of the show. <laughs> okay. That's for legal reasons for us. <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> we have... Bless you. <laughs> we have some guests in this evening. From Russia. <laughs> I think they may be... Spies. <laughs> Go and check and see if they're wearing a wire. <laughs> Ladies, all right. First of all, welcome to democracy. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Dinara. Dinara, from? Russia. Which part? Central part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> which, which town? Ufa. Ufa? Yep. I, I love it in Ufa, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's my favorite part, yeah. I, I love it in Ufa. And where are you from? Uh, Natasha, from Russia. Ufa? Nope. Oh, where are you? Where? Uh, it's impossible to repeat. It's impossible to repeat? Yeah, Ekaterinburg. <laughs> Ekaterinburg? Yes. Yes, I know where Ekaterinburg is. Well, I've heard of Ekaterinburg. Something happened. No, something very bad happened there, actually. Uh, um, well, what are you doing in the United States, ladies? Just vacation. Oh, vacation, really? Where are you vacationing? Near any military bases? <laughs> As you can see, I'm really up on politics right now. So you're on vacation. That's nice. Are you traveling across the United States or just Los Angeles? From Colorado. Colorado. I know why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
You're here to enjoy a very specific freedom <laughs> yep. that exists in the state of Colorado, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Look closer. <laughs> Which one of these three people is not on marijuana right now? Stoners, I'm, I'm gonna send you to a restaurant. A restaurant where you can eat like crazy. <laughs> what? Uh, sure, sure. Have you ever seen uh, Bev the Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewife of Beverly Hills? You, I know, me too. So, <laughs> one of the ladies who's the Real Housewives is a lady called Lisa Vanderpump. Vanderpump? Craig, that sounds like a penis enlargement device. Yes. <laughs> to Scotland? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we'll send you to that. She's got a lovely, re she's actually a very nice lady, and she's got a lovely uh, restaurant called Sewer where you can eat, and it's, I've been, it's actually very, it's very swish. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unlike some places I've been in uh, Moscow. I've been to Moscow, yes, and St. Petersburg. <laughs> I think I learned one Russian word. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder why I bother asking anyone up here. <laughs> Tonight on the show, we're very excited, aren't we? We have Simon Helberg and Kunal Nayar from The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> except... Except... I don't think one of them is Kunal Nayar. <laughs> Go and check. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Off you go. Uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. I'm a Lok and I'm from India, New Delhi. <laughs> New Delhi, India. Well, that doesn't make you Kunal Nayar, though. <laughs> We're from the same place. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. But it doesn't make me. <laughs> it happens all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> that was that Indian guy that was here about a month ago. You remember that guy? <laughs> all right. All right, like, like I, I've just pulled you out of the audience, that's the thing, all right? Okay. Here's the scene. You're a member of the public, mm. I've pulled you out of the audience, your name's Simon Helberg, you maybe have a project coming okay. up, and you want to plug it. <clears throat> When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. I am Simon Helberg. I am from Los Angeles, California. I see. And why would you be here in the audience this evening? I am here for the plug of my movie, I Am I. It is in select theaters in Los Angeles and New York, and on demand, and on iTunes, and I could go on and on. <laughs> why isn't it in movie theaters in, like, Chicago and stuff? <laughs> well, uh... Is it one of them independent movies? Where people have feelings and no one chases anyone in a car? Is that the kind of movie we're talking about? <laughs> so let me get this straight. There's no aliens in this movie, is there? Illegal aliens? Oh, no, that's not the same. He's fine. He's absolutely fine. We checked. Everything's cool. So, no one... Blows up the White House, no one, you know, attacks anybody, nobody does anything. It's just like people having feelings and sorting stuff out. Just emotional explosion. Right, right. <laughs> well, it sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, I shall see. I am I. Why is it called I am I? Uh, it is a reference to uh, Man of La Mancha, the I am I Don Quixote. Yeah, well, I don't go much for the book learning, <laughs> son. I know, that's why it's not in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Chicago's a big city. Why, what am oh, I... yeah. oh, so you got snippy with me all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're the one that sat in the audience of my show to plug your movie. I was forced by an Indian. He told me he was Kunal, and he said if we could live somewhere for a month together, and it was air-conditioned, and... Here we are. It's been a great last month. Well...
to be a great show, everybody. Welcome to the CBS World Soccer Cup Spectacular. <laughs> Exciting news. Oh, I'll get that in a minute. Um, we have a, a, a lady here from France and a lady here from Canada. And I thought we could maybe get them to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Against each other. <laughs> in mud. <laughs> Soccer's played in a field. Okay, good. Could you hand me that ball? And also this? Thank you. Go and check them out. I'll be right there. Okay, out of the way. All right, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Alia from Canada. Alia from Canada and... As if he's from France. Yes, you are. <laughs> are you friends in real life? No. We just met. You just met? Coming here. Are you a French-Canadian Frenchie? I'm not. Oh. Alberta. Do <laughs> you don't speak? I thought everyone in Canada spoke French also. No. <laughs> I know. Mind blown. <laughs> Are you lying to us, guys? <laughs> oh, aye, right, we all speak French, eh? Bonjour. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> uh, ladies, you just met on the way here? Yeah, mm -hmm. outside. Outside. Really? And, and you've become friends? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Well, uh, we're going to ask you, uh, well, if you can perform a trick uh, with this ball, oh, you get to go to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> What's the restaurant they could go to? La Canda Veneta. That's an Ita Italian? Yeah. Italian restaurant, and it's good, too. Okay. <laughs> You could be on a sort of like girl date, kind of friends. Hi, what are you? Do you like open toed espadrilles? I do! Yeah. What about pop sugar? I'm all about that box yeah. that they send you. Yes! <laughs> all right, uh, you don't have to do that. I uh, just answer a question. Okay. Who was the French general that um, helped Canada during the war of that time when they were fighting? <clears throat> the good? I'm sorry, I didn't get a word of that. <laughs> yes, I think that... What part of France are you from? Normandy, from oh. Juno Beach, the Canadian one. <laughs> <laughs> Serendipitous. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Here. Okay. <laughs> You're laying on a bit thick with a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dial it back a bit. All right, okay. yeah. So, uh, what part of France are you from? Normandy. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, the question is, was answered completely correctly, so... <laughs> You're going to, I hope you become great friends. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Over there, over there. <laughs> There's a very clean-cut couple here this evening. They're very lucky. The master is having one of his affairs. <laughs> Start of the Rocky Horror Show, man, like Brad and Janet. Like, they're going to get freaked out and things are going to go crazy and they're all going to like... You know what I'm saying? Go check them out. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Adrian, and from California. Uh-huh, and... Shane, from California. Hey, don't say it like that. That was very <laughs> passive aggressive. Shane. Shane. From California, from obviously. California. Are you two a couple? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you married? No. I see. Yeah. Thinking about it? Sure. <laughs> Craig, what are you doing? I don't know if she's thinking about it as much as you're thinking about it. You have to work a little harder, man. You called me up here. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. I called, I called you up here because you were sitting next to her and that body language looked a little odd to me. That's all I'm saying. And I'm supposed to say, what am I supposed to say? Well, you just say, yeah, well, you bet she's the greatest girl I ever met. Okay, Something like that. we'll do that. Yeah, and you, when you come to the show, smoke a little less marijuana. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. So, you... 
You guys thinking about getting married? She's, she's just the greatest ever. Don't hold her! <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, I'm really excited for you kids. Thank you, Craig. Uh, what part of California are you from again? Claremont. Claremont. Aha! Gateway to Fresno? <laughs> Where is it, Claremont? It's just uh, east of here. All the colleges are there. Graduate the school. Oh, man. <laughs> like, I don't know everything. I'm an immigrant. Okay. You know. <laughs> what are you studying? Theology. Ah. Yeah. Come here, Minima. <laughs> She's studying theology, too? No. Okay. What is she studying? She's a photographer. Did she photograph you with no clothes on? No. <laughs> you should probably put that together, man. <laughs> okay. Maybe then you could photo... Well, look anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when you finish your degree, you're going to be a pastor, then? Uh, teach theology. I'm actually working in a church now, so... Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Uh, what denomination, then? Seventh-day Adventist. Right. That, that's one of the big ones. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> one thing I've learned about religion where I'm from... Don't get involved. You're right. Well, I'm going to send you kids out to a great restaurant. Uh, if you can answer a question correctly. What's the restaurant, Michael? Craig's. Craig's restaurant. That's a great, it's nothing to do with me. It's actually very good, and you can get really good stuff in it. Now, are uh, you guys vegetarians? Cheers. You're vegetarian? I am. And you're not? No. Can these two share an apartment? <laughs> without driving each other crazy? It's like Dharma and Greg. <laughs> Uh, the question is, uh, who is the top uh, Seventh-day Adventist <laughs> in, in the country? Ted Wilson. Ted Wilson is the correct answer! <laughs> You're going to play! We'll be right back. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Mr. Miyagi. I thought, I thought I'd try and sneak it in and pretend it was a Japanese phrase. <laughs> now, I've just come back from Japan. Did you know? Well, yes, you did. Right. And there's a, we have a Japanese guest in our audience. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't applaud yet. She might be horrible. <laughs> Go check her out. I'll be right over. Okay, can I? <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Uh, Kiko? Kiko. From Yokohama. I was in Yokohama this weekend! Really? Yes! I Did you see my mom? Yes! <laughs> Describe your mom. I might have seen her. She's this tall. Uh. You're going to have to be more specific, I have to tell you. She has a gray hair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when did you come to America? Like yesterday. <laughs> really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Excuse me. I'm pretty bad with the jet lag, but I think this woman is mocking me. <laughs> Yokohama, don't do that! No, you stay there! You got some pretty mad TV in Japan, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Like, this show in Japan, it would be very sedate. This would be like watching the news, really, wouldn't it? That's right. <laughs> anyway, good news. We're going to send you to a restaurant. Okay. <laughs> well, you have to... You have to answer <laughs> That's a question, which you, you'll be able to answer. Uh, what restaurant are we going to send her to? Master's Steakhouse. Master's Steakhouse. Do you, I had Kobe beef at the weekend. You ever had that? No. Are you a vegetarian? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, we'll send her to a different restaurant. Well, we send her to Craig's. Craig's restaurant. That's a restaurant where many vegetarian options are available. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you can answer this question, who is the current pres uh, president of Japan? Prime Minister? Prime Minister of Japan. Who is the current Prime Minister of Japan? Shiranai desu. 
Sorry? Shiranai des. That's that's who it is? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> now, hold on a second. Uh, yes, you're going to go to the restaurant. I just have to have a word with someone. Hold on. Look, I don't have Google in front of me, so if it's wrong, sashimi. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. A very excited boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, we started off classy tonight. Didn't we? <clears throat> No, we have we have guests from another country, two other countries. Yeah, two other countries. Yes. <laughs> Check them out and see if you can guess where they're from. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Y yes, you can guess where they're from. <laughs> All right, off you go. When I uh, talk. Oh, okay. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Felix, Germany. Felix from Germany. Yes. <laughs> Svetlana from Moscow. F sorry. <laughs> Svetlana from Moscow. Yeah. Uh, you're uh, so you're from Germany and you're from Russia. Right. And uh, are you? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Friends. Mm -hmm. You're a couple. Are you married? Yes. yes. Oh, you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> I'll investigate. <laughs> so you're married, are you? Yeah. Does that mean you're spies? <laughs> no. Okay. No, what are you doing in America then? Visiting. I see. Traveling, Traveling around? Yeah. Are you on honeymoon? No. no. <laughs> Where did you meet? In mm. Moscow. Ah, I see. <laughs> Which part of Germany are you from? Uh, Leipzig. Oh, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> yes, <it's been. laughs> mm. I know. Is it the north or the south? It's like the two east. hours below uh, Berlin. Berlin. Oh, yes. yes. Like two hours. Okay. <laughs> I sometimes do a German accent on this show. We know. I, is that what you're here about? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Uh, now, uh, Russians and Germans haven't always gotten along, have they? <laughs> I mean, uh, you guys clearly get along now, of course. But <clears throat> where do you live? Do you live in uh, Russia or Germany? Germany. Germany. Yeah. I see. Good. I mean, not that there would be anything wrong with living in uh, <laughs> Moscow's a very nice place. I've been there, you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Leipzig. <laughs> But um, so Mo Moscow have been to. What part of Moscow are you from? Moscow. <laughs> yeah, but what part? Because I've been all over it. No. North Moscow, that's North my favourite bit. <laughs> well, good news, kids. Uh, CBS have decided to send you to a restaurant. <gasps> oh, I know everyone. <laughs> What's the restaurant tonight? Uh, Mastro Steakhouse. Mastro Steakhouse. Oh. Are you vegetarians? You're vegetarian. <laughs> Is that why you had to escape Russia? <laughs> it's a joke, man. It's a joke. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Well, we'll send you to uh, Sewer, which is a restaurant. Now, but you have to answer a question first. Who is the famous celebrity owner of Sewer? I'll give you a clue. It's Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> you could have said without your clue. But... Oh, did you know? <laughs> yeah. Is, well, it's Vanderpump. Like, Vanderpump. Like, is that a German name? Vander like Vanderpump? No. <laughs> and we don't have the pump. <laughs> Look, we, we have a stereotype here, Germans aren't funny, so when you do that, yeah, it kind of yeah. makes me... Uh, <laughs> just, just makes me look a little, makes me look a little yeah, foolish, yeah, yeah. you know? It makes me look like I'm a racist or something. <laughs> All right, no, no, it's fine. I mean, just thanks and everything. <laughs> well, that is the correct answer! You're going to serve! Yeah. Felix, you're going to serve!
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There's a lady here. <laughs> She's got a tattoo. <laughs> Go and check it out. It's a real tattoo? Okay, off you go. <laughs> All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Alicia Zadera, Glendora. Glendora? Yes. Isn't that a magical land where there are pixies and stuff? <laughs> didn't didn't uh, the, the Bewitched, wasn't Bewitched uh, in the Bewitched thing, the TV show Bewitched? There was, wasn't it Aunt Glendora? Or Aunt Endora? No, I think you're right. Yeah. You're from, you're from a TV show in the 1960s? <laughs> Where's Glendora? Uh, 57 to 10 freeway. <laughs> 45 minutes away. 45 minutes away? Yeah. And you came all the way here? <laughs> I see you have a tattoo. I do. On your shoulder? Yes. What is it of? Uh, flowers. I see. <laughs> Do you have any other tattoos? Okay, we, can we see them? Uh, Do you have tattoos in really scary places? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait a minute. Sorry for calling your places scary. <laughs> You see a tattooed woman blush at the same time. <laughs> All right, uh, well, good news. CBS are going to send you to a restaurant. Um, if you can answer a question. <laughs> uh, what's the restaurant, Michael? Master? Master Steakhouse. Are you a vegetarian? No. Really? I wait, wait. <laughs> we'll what have hate. You kind of hate people because they're vegetarians. <laughs> Like, oh, finally, someone who's not a vegetarian. Yeah! USA! Yeah. <laughs> there was a German couple here last night. Oh, no, one, she was from Russia, and she was a vegetarian. I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, the question is this. Um, are you a vegetarian? No. Correct! Okay. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Do you remember when we had that lovely uh, Swiss couple that were on the show about a month ago? And they're back. <laughs> we, we sent them to a restaurant. Do you remember? Well, let's find out how they got along. gentlemen, welcome back to the show. You both say your names so I can remember them, please. <laughs> Manuel. Manuel and Kevin. <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember you guys because I remember thinking Manuel sounded, uh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't sound Swiss either, actually. Uh, Manuel and Kevin, they don't say, are they nom de plumes? No, they're real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, that's not the point. We sent you to it, and it's great that you come back and you wore your lucky blue belt. And uh... <laughs> so we sent you to a restaurant where you enjoyed the company of. Let me try and remember. Uh, Robert De Niro was there, and Mad Jack Culver, Crazy Bob, Jeff. Who else was there? Yeah, Sigmund Freud was Sigmund there. Sigmund Freud. Sure. And... David Bowie. David Bowie. Yeah. So, do you guys like you guys like Bowie? Everybody in Switzerland loves Bowie, right? Do you? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Hey, wait a minute. You just asked, do you... How long have you guys been together? Uh, eight years? Seven years. Really? Yes. About <laughs> <laughs> like eight. Hold on a second. I'm just going to do a little PSA. <laughs> That's for everyone that thinks that uh, heterosexual couples are in some way different from homosexual couples. <laughs> That's not what we're here to discuss. 
Uh, you've been together an unspecified <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> and yet, you didn't know. So what music do you like then? Punk rock. Oh, yeah. good old. <laughs> pop, I think. You, you, pop. Pop. Pop, no, pop music. No, you don't, don't like the same no. music? No. no. You don't like the same music and you... Well, what do you like? What's your thing in common? Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I already messed up. Mm, maybe watching TV? Watching TV. <laughs> oh, <that's> sad. <laughs> See, you, you don't even agree on watching TV? <laughs> no, I mean the fact that it's only watching TV. But no, watching TV is a great thing. I, I make my living out of people who are... <laughs> Sad enough to watch. <laughs> anyway, do um, you want to go to another restaurant? <laughs> what do you want to send them this time? Uh, sewer. sewer. Oh, that's a good one. Sewer, uh, not that the other one wasn't, <laughs> but they are. Uh, sewer is a restaurant. It's owned by, have you ever seen a show called The uh, Housewives, uh, or Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Only heard of it. Oh, right. Well, it's got all the different housewives in it, and one of them is a lady <laughs> called Lisa Vanderpump, and she owns this restaurant, and her name, Vanderpump, I always think, <laughs> sounds like a penis enlargement device. <laughs> you know, like, applies the Vanderpump. <laughs> oh, oh! But the pain is worth it! <laughs> So, uh, but the restaurant's very, very good. Uh, they say, what kind of food is it? Okay. All kinds of food. Oh, so, <laughs> so we'll send you to that restaurant, and then maybe in about another month, you can come back and tell us <laughs> where the lucky blue belt. <laughs> Manuel and Kevin, we'll be right back. Everybody. My tie look all right? <laughs> <laughs> got horse knot on it now, a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Guess what, boy? The Montreal Comedy Festival starts today. <laughs> and as luck would have it, we have a French Canadian in our audience. <laughs> now, a lot of people claim to be French Canadians, but there's a few simple tricks we can use, because it's so great to be one. <laughs> There's a few simple tricks that we can perform to make sure that we really have a genuine Quebecois. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Can you say it? <laughs> go on, have a try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go and see if we've really got a French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? All right, let out the way and let me check. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Good, good start. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. When I tap you on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. I didn't know Craig could speak French, so wow. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you are from. Okay. Astrid, de la Bitibitimiskamang. En au Québec. Excuse me a second. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah. That's it. May I ask uh, what you're doing in uh, Los Angeles this fine July day? Do you want me to say it from in French or in English? Oh, please, in English. Your in English, English is, is, is charming so, and adorable. Oh, thank no, you it's very, very nice. Much. I'm with a group of students, film students, who just graduate. Oh, yes. well done. Do you make yes. films uh, in French or English? French. Ah, so it's films about ennui. Ou <laughs> Xavier <laughs> Dolan. Oui. <laughs> oui. <laughs> well, luckily enough, we've. Uh, how many people are you here with? Uh, tonight, three. But right, three, that's toi in French. Uh, <laughs> so that's quatre all together? Yes, oh. quatre. <laughs> <laughs> so um, where are we going to send them, Michael, for dinner? Well, why not send them to a French restaurant? <laughs> where would you rather go, an Italian or French restaurant? Uh, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from France. Yeah, I know you're not from France. You're fr oh, I see. So yeah. you've got nothing. To, that was nothing to do with you then, France. No, exactly. No. Would you like to go to a Canadian restaurant? No, then? no, 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 no. We could get you some poutine. Oh, nice poutine. Did I like. Oh, one? I've had no. poutine. Yeah, I've. You're good. Did you like it? I no. always like it. No, I did. What? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I liked poutine. I like. 
<laughs> Wait, I'm trying to make it. A, a, you know, so I'm trying to make it sound dirty, you know. Uh, with poutine. Poutine, yeah, you know, poutine, poutine. yeah, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, an Italian restaurant. What one is it, uh, Michael? La Canda Veneta. That's Italian for La Canda Veneta. Ooh. Thanks for coming, Astrid. You've really made it very French Canadian so ah. far. <laughs> We have a guest tonight in the studio audience from another country. <laughs> I actually asked the audience before I came out, anyone from another country, and someone shouted, Texas! <laughs> anyway, this young lady, I believe, is from India. Go and check. <laughs> I told Secretariat the horse is a sacred animal in India. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Neha, and I'm from India, but I live in Dublin. You're from India, but you live in Dublin? Yeah. I see. That's got to be a conflict of interest, isn't it? <laughs> so, you live in Dublin. Why? You study there, perhaps? Yeah, I'm a student there. I finished my master's in international business. <laughs> well, that, that's good. Here, come here a minute. You know, if you finish a degree in international business, that's something to be proud of. I want to be an actress. You want to be an actress? Yeah. You're a fool. <laughs> international business, there's some money in international. Well, you want to be an actress, people are just going to, like, poke fun at you all the time. But you are popular as well, so I want to be popular as well. Hold on a second. I'm not getting a word of this accent. <laughs> so you want to be an actress, eh? Is that why you came here with your international... So who paid for your international business degree? Your parents, perhaps? Yes. They must be so pleased you've decided to get on stage and be an actress now. Well, they're supporting me, so, yeah. They're continuing to support you. Well, good for them, I say. What part of India are you from? New Delhi. Captain. New Delhi. Ah, yes, it's much swankier than old Delhi. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it, why is it called New Delhi? Is, it new, is there an old Delhi? There is. In New Delhi, there is old Delhi. Oh, right. And in New York, there is the Carnegie Delhi. So... <laughs> And that was tonight's jokes for senior citizens. <laughs> if you answer this question correctly, CBS will give you a role on their new sitcom. <laughs> Come on, man, help her out! <laughs> She's got a degree in international business! I'm good in that. You're, you're what? I'm good in international business studies. You're good? Is that what she said? <laughs> You're good at international business? I am. What is international business? International business is international business. Don't ask me a question about that. Well, if you've got a degree in it, you should be able to look at it. I said I want to be an actress. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, if you could answer this question about acting, then uh, you will receive uh, two tickets to uh, a restaurant. <laughs> what restaurant? What restaurant? Craig's. Craig's restaurant. Are you a vegetarian? I am. Yeah, she's Indian. They do a lot of steaks here. You got a vegetarian restaurant? <laughs> sewer. There you are. You want to go to Sewer? <laughs> that, that, you, no, you, I'll tell you, they'll, they'll rustle you up kale salads like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> all right. <laughs> This is a question about acting. Yes. Who is the tallest actor in the world? In my knowledge, Ritik Roshan. He's a Bollywood actor. That is, in fact, the correct answer. <laughs> in Joshua, we're right, Michael. Really. What's yeah. the best thing to eat in Belgium? Like, if you were an American tourist and you wanted to taste something <laughs> particularly Belgian food-wise, what would you... Uh... Stop it? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we would say Stoffles. Stoffles? Yeah. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah. you did. Stoffles? Yeah, correct. Do what you, is it? Do you have to lean back and open your eyes a bit when you say it? <laughs> yeah. So, does anyone want Stoffles? <laughs> it's a stew. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is it? Well, it's, it's a stew. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that... <laughs> See, what? 
why I said that is because you told me what it was. And I thought, let's mess with the space time continuum with these. <laughs> like, you uh, answered the question before I even asked it. <laughs> Welcome, back, Welcome back to the show where things are going. Crazy, right, John? We're out of control. We're out of control. And why are we out of control, John? Because uh, we're enjoying Stouffle's. It's a stew. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you didn't say it properly. You've got to say it like this. Stouffle's. Stouffle's? Yeah, it's, it's, a a kind of, it's a stew. What is it? It's a stew. <laughs> yeah, what, what is it? Stouffle's? If you don't know what Stouffle is, is, then you're no friend of mine, sir. Stouffle's. <laughs> From now on, that'll be our safety word. All right. <laughs> when things get a little too crazy and a little bit, yeah. mm, then what we'll do is we'll somebody will say, Stouffle's, and then... Yeah, and then I'll say, what is it? <laughs> and I'll say, it's a stew. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Oh, you. I love it, man. I love it. Good yeah. times. You know, we'd be, we'd be screwed if we had material. You yeah. understand? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a stew. <laughs> And that's magic. We'll be right back. <laughs>